I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Today is Yetta's birthday. Hey, birthday girl. <laughs> I thought I would never be fine. I'm Yele. And I'm Patrick. JP Adventures 19. Welcome back to a new episode. Today we went to Bunbury again because we had to get some more balls or we had to get zinc coated balls and longer balls because we have um, four M20s, like one in each corner. Um, and the ones we had before were painted and shorter and we ordered the new ones so we, they were ready to get, to get picked up today. So we're gonna put them in and tighten them all up and then we want to start installing the windows. But we still have to fix our um, balcony hatch, I'll show you later because um, the forklift damaged it. Which is fine, the box is on now, right? So yeah. We'll fix that. We have to modify our door. Looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, small things. Um, and obviously the windows, which is a big job and a bit of a scary job. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll take you with us. All right, back at the truck. Every single time we see it with the box on, we just, we just have to start smiling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so much work to get to this point. So now we are bolting it down with the proper bolts, the ones that will stay in there, which are these M20s and cone locks on the end. And yeah, because right now we have the painted ones in there and we just want to get zinc coated ones. So Patrick will hop in. I um, removed the nuts already and yeah, hopefully they all line up again. spacers to install our windows we need six millimeter spacers because that's the gap we were planning with and yeah so we'll just put them around the windows when they're inside the cutout and space them like that and then you have to screw through the frame and we got exact measurements where to put in the screws so that's pretty good and yeah so um, we'll give it a try we haven't done this before ever <laughs> So it's like learning by doing and we'll see how we go. You ready? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with the smallest one in case something goes wrong. <laughs> Like this in ages. 
the sheep are trying to hide under the trailers poor babies and there's actually water running down the wall inside the kitchen oh my god <laughs> happy weekend we are back in the box we just love it and um, we keep working on the windows so we made one window work but we have to put in four more screws so it's always 150 millimeters um, away from each corner so that's uh, um, eight screws in that's eight screws in the little window here and the other windows are ready to go in as well it's definitely more work more work than we estimated like always but if we get them all in that would be really exciting and change the the feeling in here as well so here are the others one window is in completely and Ready it's working um, we, we had to play around a bit with how far we screw it in and all that but yeah now it's working and we are doing the second one we're going from the smallest to the biggest window so we can keep learning how to do it before we do the huge one most expensive one. Oh, it's outside yeah <laughs> because that will be a bit scary but more people moved um, onto the farm and there are two guys converting a coaster bus and they will be very helpful if we need help so I don't have to carry it right so this is how we are always doing it um, we're lining up the windows so it fits the cutout as good as possible obviously nothing is a million percent <laughs> straight so obviously you just just have to work with what you have and we line it up we went outside had a look we have little spacers down here 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 and here in this case and they keep it the way we want it to be and now we'll just um, drill through the holes pre-drill it and then put in those screws I'll show you later yeah and then you just have to play around a bit until it's like in the perfect position and it works and then you fasten it. <laughs> we are using those little things and then we put the black cap on top so it looks like that. Oh yeah, this and that on top. distracted because we have visitors and then the new people that live on the farm um, so we definitely don't get as much done as we used to um, we need to get back to a flow and I still need to edit the video so for tomorrow yeah um, last window let's go all right windows lined up and we're going up I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a god, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break Time to stand strong, need to move on to be what I want 
just had almost an incident here. Um, the gap, like the width, like the height actually of the window, like the gap at the top and the bottom is a bit more than six millimeters. And um, so the frame is a bit too far apart. So when you fold out the middle windows or the middle and the right one, they fall out. So I already had the feeling it's gonna happen. Patrick opened it and I was like, oh my God, yeah, it's gonna happen. Um, we caught it didn't fall, luckily it would be broken. Um, yeah, now we're just trying to find the right spacing at the top and the bottom to screw it in. Um, yeah, tricky. <laughs> Keep dreaming on, time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. about our windows. The sound in here is so funny, <laughs> actually with windows in. <laughs> so we decided to go for household windows. They're double glazed, so very well insulated, better than like plastic windows or when there's plastic just glued together. And we went with dual glass windows. So this company supported us. Um, they're custom made, custom size with salamander frames, which is actually German. Pretty cool. Yeah, and if you really want to go for windows like this, you can just contact us. Um, send us an email. You can find our email address below or just let us know in the comments because we know a person that um, could help you out and that helped us out. And yeah, it's pretty cool. This is our bathroom window, that's why it has this milky glass. And so it's easy to open them. Ta -da! You can lock them as well. Push them all the way open. It goes further but our door is in the way. And then it has two settings right here. You can pull them shut all the way, close them, they're locked. Or you just do like this setting so you can have a tiny gap in here and a bit of airflow. It's pretty cool and they're still locked, like they're still safe and secure. All right, off to a new task. So we fixed our balcony hatch, or Patrick fixed it. Um, it does fit again and it now... It actually fits better than before. Fits better than before. Don't so. know how that happened. So even better, <laughs> right? And now we have to drill holes with a hole saw. And we got a really cool kit from Fair that we're gonna test out now. Patrick opened it and you should have seen his face. I love it. It's so much like we've had a couple hole saw kits, like or sets, and they all just had like the simple like clamping mechanism. Um, and they all just clamped in and then you know when you when you really got stuck into something, sometimes it would just like get stuck and the whole mechanism would rotate and the hole saw would stay still. And it just yeah, this this can't happen with this hole saw. We'll we'll show you in a sec. Yeah. I tested it out for one hole already and now we'll do the other ones. So this is the kit, there are different sizes, 16, 20, 25, 32, 40, 51, 70 and 92 millimeters. They're good for down, down lights as well. And we are testing the 40 millimeter one. Yep. And they have these, they have a couple different sets. So they have ones with bigger ones, they have ones with smaller ones, like they have engineers one that only goes up to I think 50. And they have a plumber's one that goes up to like 120 or something like that. Um, anyway, what I really like about this is, um, so pretty much, obviously most hole saws, as usual, uh, you just kind of screw onto the main tip. Um, and then a lot of times um, you'll have like a clamp that'll clamp them down. Whereas these, you just screw them on especially, and these are for the bigger sizes, and then they have two holes in there, and these two holes you have to line up with the two pins here, and then you just clamp this down, and those two pins actually go into the hole saw and keep this in place, so it can't go anywhere. And it's like an extra support for when you're drilling through steel and stuff like that. This thing will actually just hold and like, 
Yeah, it's awesome. I'm super excited. Oh, and we took the spring out because we're drilling holes through bigger ones, but actually there's a spring in here. So when you do like, you know, pop through something, it actually presses the part back out and it doesn't get stuck all the way in the bottom like sometimes and get really annoying and then you have to come and try and get it out somehow. So these springs just kind of pop it right back out. But we took this out because we're drilling a 12 hole and these springs actually just Fit into get stuck it. right into yeah. the 12 hole. So we just took it out for now. All right, I'll do and go and drill some holes. Happy Monday! <laughs> we were actually picking Granny Smith this morning because we were helping our farmers um, to get everyone trained because we have a bunch of new people. Um, we knocked off early and now we are back working on the mug. <laughs> so, um, as you could see, we have four M20 balls, one in each corner that um, attaches the box to the tray. And we wanted to add some more balls, some M12, M10 balls. Um, and we pre-drilled pre the holes and they were lining up when we test fitted everything, not on the mug. So now they don't line up 100% and we'll have to go through with the um, drill again and make at least some fit. Not all of them because there are plenty. Um, but yeah, that's what we're trying to do right now. <laughs> While Patrick is finishing the chocolate cookies. Yummy. Yeah, they're actually really good. I love them. Italian cookies. Moggy is moving. They need the space in here, so yeah, we have no choice. <laughs> We helped in the orchard again, um, but now we're working on the truck. So I wanted to do something that I like, <laughs> something that motivates me. So I am starting to line this light up balcony. We are starting. We are starting and I'll take over by myself. So Patrick can actually do other stuff and weld on the bolts inside the habitation box. Yeah. I love it because we're gonna oil um, the boards before we put them on so we need to cut them all to size and then I'm gonna do both oil both sides and we need to let them dry yeah I love that project all right a few hours later this is how far I got and now I'll show you how I do it it's pretty simple <laughs> while Patrick is still welding on those bolts Game pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack, no it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up It's how you get tough, calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff I'm not the one, mess with me, come down with guns, I'm so done, you had your fun And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the guns, like I got a full clip, put your name on it But I'ma let you slide, cause you ain't worth it Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on actually working on the door now because right now if it would fall shut we have to climb in through the hatch and open it from the inside again <laughs> Yale, the door is closed and we can't open it again damn it he told we me gonna I would do? have to climb through the hatch yeah we have to climb through this hatch now to get to the inside to open up the latches for the door I didn't believe him <laughs> I, but it's true yeah, then no, it's not gonna work. <laughs> really? Back up here, after half a day of work, we are actually starting to oil our deck. Um, we are using a decking oil with a matte finish for that. And Patrick started cleaning out the inside of our box, which is so cool. 
one coat is done. Now we have to wait until it's touch dry and then I can actually do the other side. I'll show you. So it was our last day of the week picking today, so we did a half day again. Well, we did four more days than planned. <laughs> yeah. And now Yella's doing the second coat on our decking boards, including the sides and the um, like the facing, all that stuff. And then she's going to lay them out and do the tops and bottoms again. That'll be the second coat. This is the part that I just oiled. So it looks like that. And then compared, this is the part that's not oiled yet. It does make actually a big difference. All right, Patrick started filling the gap in between the window and the frame, the metal frame with some Sika. I'll show you. Easter weekend which is perfect for us to work on the mock and make a lot of progress so I'm oiling the deck the underside one more time before we can mount the boards permanently yeah that will be exciting and I think Patrick will take care of this Sika in between the gap of the windows because there's still a lot of work ahead of us While this side's drying, I started to um, to mount the little bearings for the sides, and then we'll might mount more bearings over here and there, back there. Yeah, we're getting there. So the decking boards are all in the right order, and we're gonna screw them in now, which is a little bit scary. Patrick's getting all the screws, and I already clamped down the first board. deck takes forever and there's actually another bushfire close by look at this smoke everywhere and there are little pieces of ash on our deck now On the last board, look at it. I love it. So much work. Definitely more than expected. This is so cool. Look at our deck. So the past week we've been um, really riding this drill bit hard. It's the fat ones. And this is the 4.5 mil drill bit and we've used it to drill all the holes in the windows so plastic SHS SHS plastic SHS we did probably 50 holes that way now here we did wood into SHS and that was also over 50 so probably around what, what is that 10 30 60 so 60 holes and this drill bit's still going strong. Probably still sharper than some that you can buy in a hardware store. <laughs> yeah, we're impressed. Awesome. Like, I thought it would have snapped after the windows, but... Uh, still working well. 
today is Yetta's birthday! Yeah. Hey birthday girl! <laughs> and she wanted to go to... Bunbury! Yeah. To Prime! Oh. My favorite store and Yetta's favorite store! Yeah. And to Bunny's to get some tiny roof boards! Yeah, so she can do more woodworking! Yeah! And I get to ride in this really cool antique coaster bus! Look at it! Yeah. Awesome, look at this space. Yeah. I wish Demark would have that much space. Taking a cool bus ride today. Yeah, it's so cool. Look at it. It's huge. And we made it to Bunnings. And guess what we're getting? So I'm really happy Patrick bought me a coffee. <laughs> this only happens on my birthday. And we are getting. What is it? <laughs> Tongue and groove board. Um, that's what we're using to line our walls. Um, first, obviously, we'll put in insulation, and they ha didn't have insulation in stock for so, so long. And they still ha don't have it, but yeah. We have a couple of rolls sitting at home. Running for life. <laughs> oh, awesome! The school bus is waiting for us. <laughs> Bus has the perfect length. Still Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it for this week's episode. We are so happy the windows are in and we can finally start doing the interior. As you can see, Patrick started wiring up all the lights, which is really exciting. See you all next week. Bad the sun, bad the sun